right so it's friday morning and all my chores done you can see a harvest so in the quinoa harvest a little bit of choice for my personal usage uh, the quinoa was in this can but i take it out and i put in sorry that's a walk but i put in um, 15 sweet peppers so that's one of the good things about uh, aquaponics that when you harvest you could come back the same very time and and plant again so this space always in, in usage no about the chinese cabbage it grow very well tastes good and everything but the problem is that because it won't spray with nothing the the caterpillars and the slugs or the snails i think is snails i'm not too sure but whatever it is it, it ain't frightening for me and it eating up all of my chinese cabbage so for no well, you know that's caterpillar damage for sure. Uh, for now, I can stay away from the, the Chinese cabbage. So I removed the Chinese cabbage that I had in here. And I put in some broccoli. And I also put in some broccoli in that can there. That the slugs had ate all the young chives. So the chives didn't look too bad. As you can see here. All right, All right. Um, that the neighbor just now telling me that a lot of monkeys was on the property today. Yeah, you know, and you gotta get away to get rid of them too. So as a farmer, you just got passing problems all the time. Um, right. So a strong point in this aquaponic system design that I want to mention is that because each of the fish tanks got individual feed to it you could kind of got a micro environment in each can to suit the overall production aim so like for instance you can see in this first can here they got a lot of holes in here because they want the sunlight to come in and the environment is very conducive to growing aquatic plants and live beers so in this first can that's what we got and i thinking that the aquatic plants could provide enough surface area for some serious biofiltration if if we could get that going um you can see also we got this this pet bottle floating and holding that is three quarter pipe that cut to about nine inches long and the young fish kind of like to go in there and hide out from the bigger fish now that is one micro environment here and the second one this is a green water tank now tilapia in the young stages love green water um it does allow them to grow they could hide from predators because they can't see through the water that good and also what's giddy water that green color is the a microscopic plant floating in it that we call algae so when you got that algae and uh, even that weed that you got growing in here and um, that's provide the perfect environment for your tilapia the young tilapia so it's really increased the survival rate from from um breeding up to juvenile stage and then on the next can i got 80 fish in here three inches long and i got enough oxidation going on here to to support that so we got these three cans right next to the one at a three different environments doing three different things three different water quality parameters and we controlling each of them individually and we also controlling how each of them connect to the one another so we using the all the aspects of each different environment uh, in looking at it as one whole thing and that helping with the maintaining the water quality that we we want